So a traditional analytic is a rules-based analytic where uh, a user defines something like a tripwire or a zone or a direction of flow that isn't to be violated or uh, it is to be alerted when it is violated. Uh, those are what we call systems that are, are rules-based analytics. Uh, EyeSight uh, is based upon a process of reasoning. So it's fundamentally different. It, it, you don't define rules uh, when you use the EyeSight product. Uh, instead, EyeSight works off of a paradigm of three phases of observe, learn, and respond. So the system observes what happens on the camera over time. It watches things like where do people come from, where do they go, what paths do they take through the scene, how fast do they move. This information is then uh, encoded into a learning engine and the learning phase of the analytic builds abstract um, models to describe what it's observed. We call these abstract models hyposeps, which is just short for hypothetical concept. In other words, the system is constantly reasoning in, a, in, in an attempt to explain the observations that it has seen. The final stage is the respond stage. So we take these, um, these learned hyposeps and we compare new observations to these hyposeps and we alarm by color coding. So the most common things that happen in the scene, we color code a light gray and then we use a rainbow spectrum to go through purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red, where red is the most uncommon or never before observed behavior. Um, this color coding allows us to pull only the most interesting and unusual information out of your stream of video so that you can focus your attention on the things that are happening in your environment that are the most unusual. This increases your situational awareness and allows you to get a lot more value out of the, the, the security infrastructure that you might have in place. So, um, how much processing power does it take though? Is it, is it uh, and is it easy to work with or create and, and how do you deal in an environment that's used to more rules-based a rules-based approach? Sure, sure. The, the processing power you know, is, is on par with some other analytics. Um, the observational algorithms uh, are computationally intensive uh, compared to the learning and the response part of the algorithms. Um, there are many movements in the industry to move um, those observational algorithms off to the edge. Um, we're kind of watching to see where the industry is going to go with that, uh, but that's where your, most of your processing power is. For us, we, we can get you a, a 1U rack mount server that will support, on average, four cameras uh, of, a, of a typical resolution, um, and it, uh, you know, that, that gives us a, a nice price point and uh, good, good scalability. Uh, as you add more cameras, you can just add more servers, uh, and the system just kind of comes together that way. Now, does you've got the you've got the camera as part of this? Are you are you only aiming the camera, and are you does do other cameras simply integrate into the the uh, yeah. analytics system? How, good, good question. So, what all that we really uh, resell is the hardware that that runs the analytic. Okay, we're designed to plug in to a wider architecture. Uh, of whatever's in place. So we embrace open standards. Um, we accept digital video as the input, uh, using uh, RTSP as, as the input. We understand uh, a couple different levels of encoding, uh, MPEG-4, H.263, H.264. Um, we find that, that it's very easy to get someone to that level of, of digital video, uh, and, and that's what, what we plug into. So uh, we try to reuse as much camera infrastructure as already possible, and we, you know, we encourage folks to, uh, to, to move forward into the IP-based uh, video. We do think that those, um, those cameras offer a nice price point and, and the ability to sort of plug it all in together. And we're not trying to be the have-all, be-all. You know, we just want to be a, a great uh, uh, analytic reasoning filter that pulls that information out of your video stream and gives you the most valuable information possible. So we want to plug in there. We have a web services architecture uh, that you that uh, other integrators can work with uh, to extract the information out in terms of the alarms to pass along to incident management systems or other such systems. Uh, we really we're working hard with. Um, 
um, some integrators to, to make sure that we, we plug in really well and we're just one piece in an overall you know strategy of, of how you do your security surveillance. Now on, on iSight, how long does it take to learn, so to speak, what's conventional movement and what's right. unusual and right. and there I mean the, the probabilities are slight but is there a risk you, you put a camera in put the analytics in and the next day something troublesome happens will that be recognized or? yeah it, it's an interesting question one that we get all mm -hmm. the time and, and obviously the answer is very complicated I mean some of the patterns that it's going to learn you know are, are based upon a lot of movement in the in the scene and whatnot we find that the that eyesight is able to learn valuable information in a matter of hours, uh, and then other information and patterns might take weeks to learn. So uh, we have had systems plug in, and within two to three days, uh, valuable information is coming out of the of the cognitive analytic, and it it really adds a lot of value to the organization very rapidly. We've done deployments in as fast as as uh, one week to get somebody up and running and getting information out of the system. <laughs> Typically, we watch the system for about three to four weeks with our with our customer as they first deploy, just to make sure that the volume of, of information they're getting out of the system is something they're comfortable with, that the right people are getting the information. That kind of tuning exercise is sort of a passive activity. It takes three to four weeks. It's not very labor intensive. It's just a matter of uh, figuring out what types of information you're getting and, and who needs to receive that information and, and why. So, yeah, typically within about uh, five to six weeks, we have customers that are getting really great information out of the system, and the rapid deployment is a, is a big feature of the iSight product.